We're starting a new project and we're back. guys we're gonna start a new project today so we have the same tractor that we started out with all the way back when we started the channel the simplicity which is not so simplicity so that's pretty exciting we actually want to take this and combine it with a drift trike and make something really cool but we have some other exciting news we have a brand new member to the channel his name is Cullen here he is hi I'm Cullen excited to get in here and do some stuff with Sean and Take my machine knowledge, welding knowledge, and make these into something really cool. So Colin and I met at work. We've worked together for about two years now, and Colin has a ton of machining experience, fabrication experience. That's what he does at work, actually. So we're uh, excited. We're going to do some cool stuff. So mm -hmm. stay That's tuned, good. guys. All right, so we're trying to come up with some ideas on how to make this thing cool and load the ground and make it look like a cool drift or something. I think the first thing that needs to go is the seat. I mean, it's growing some some moss. Was oh. it facing the north side when you had it on? Uh, it could have been. I mean, this thing's been sitting behind my shed in the backyard for two years now, at least. So, I don't know. We get drawn a few ideas before we started. We want to take this axle out and use the axle from the drift trike. And obviously use that engine, because this engine's junk. There's, yeah, this is really neat. Yeah. It articulates in the center. Good. Want to do that again, Colin? Yeah. That's when you're out plowing the field with this thing. <laughs> you get down in that last path that you made. And... Yeah. So I think we just have to kind of start getting it apart and see what we have to work with. How much? Let's do it for 10 bucks. <laughs> to lick it? Yeah. Didn't say how long. I think it's really that bad. Is that a worm? Yeah, eat it. It is. It's moving. Stop. Right there. Ew. Take a little like a this thing's alive. size hole for that yes. hole you are trying to yeah do this just stick your face in there and I'll make sure I don't come on it there we go yeah. Woo. hey we got everything in hooked as soon as you start Sean all right I guess step one we're gonna see if this thing still runs it hasn't ran in like a year and a half or whenever we did the drift trike videos so I don't know we'll just it, it, we tried to start it a couple times it doesn't want to fire so I think I'm just going to try some starting fluid. And then if not, we'll go take the spark plug out and see if we get the spark. Or just scrap it. Just scrap it. It'll go right here. Okay, so we've gotten everything taken apart down to kind of where we want it right now. The plan is we got to lower the front down, lower the back down, make it look cool. We got the engine off the drift trike, got the axle out back here, probably hard to see. Steering's freed up. Yep. So we got to figure out our chain drive. That's going to be interesting because the chain, we don't want the chain to be too long because then it'll be slapping around and stupid. So I think we'll scoot this motor back, notch it out of here, but scoot it back, take the motor mount off there, weld that on, 
bring that back just so that chain, well, just so this all fits better. Right now it's pressed up against that front. We have all the space here to use, so. Yeah, we got some figuring out to do, but I think we have a pretty darn good start and a good idea. We're gonna have to order some parts and get some stuff that we're gonna need, but I think we've got a pretty good start. We we'll have to take this whole rear axle piece off. I think we're gonna have to make it all solid. No articulation. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. Cause it, the chain drive, it'll articulate and then the chain will pop off or wear the sprocket out really fast. But drifting, I don't think we need to. We are gonna stretch it out a little further too. Just so our long, daddy long leg legs will be able to not be crunched up on the steering wheel getting this. Yeah, we'll probably stretch it, I don't know, maybe not, six inches, yeah, something not, like that, not worth sitting out, but yeah, stretch it out a little bit, I think that'd be pretty cool. Probably like right there, honestly, yeah, that's not bad, cool. Don't fall and die. Yeah, like, just so your knees aren't there. Yeah, it's no problem, the carburetor hits here, so we'll have to cut a hole here, or notch, or whatever's gonna look nice here. Scoot the engine back. I think the engine's about where yeah, it has to be slightly offset for the chain to make sense, but we could cool uh, chain guard here and yeah. powder coat it. So we have some cool, fun new equipment too. We have, I built a plasma cutting CNC table right there that you'll definitely see at some point in time. And we got a sandblaster over at the other side now. There's a bunch of crap piled in front of it right now. But And then Cullen has all kinds of fun, cool toys at his house too. So I know you guys will be seeing that. But I think we're pretty much where we're at. We're gonna end the video here. We gotta get some parts for what we wanna do. But leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube stuff. I guess we'll see you in the next one.